Are you serious? You better get a cup of coffee right now and sit down because you're going to need to. Because I don't want you passing out when I get ready to tell you the information that's coming for me right now. What? Mm. See that baseball player? He got hit with a pitch, I guess, and I guess he went down to first base and then he fainted. Of course, if you get hit with a 95 mile an hour fastball, you may faint too. But anyway, pray for him that he'll be feeling better. Um, Luke 21, 25, and then let me read this article to you. Here's what the Bible says. Jesus was asked, can you tell us of the signs of thy coming in the end of the world? He gives you a whole list of things in Matthew 24, Mark 13, and Luke 21. And here's one of them. In Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Ooh, I get excited every time I, th hey, I think about him coming, coming, he's coming, he's coming. Are you ready? But let's, right now we're still here and we're, we're dealing with a lot of stuff. And let's deal with this right now. Uh, a monster sunspot solar flare. I want to thank Reverend Gary of Kentucky for sharing this with me. And he's not the only, uh, uh, this is unbelievable. I remember last week, and I don't know, you can go back three or four days, I can't remember when, but I did a video on the fact that they found four huge sunspots on the sun and that each one was larger than the earth. And they were very concerned that a solar tsunami or some type of a flare could happen. It were, they were monsters. Well, we're back. And exactly what they were hoping it wouldn't happen, praying it couldn't, you know, stay away, it has. A monster sunspot solar flare strong enough to confuse satellites has just happened. An enormous sunspot unleashed a powerful solar flare late Wednesday, May the 16th, okay? triggering a radiation storm intense enough to in interfere with some of the satellites orbiting the Earth, space weather experts say. The flare erupted from monster sunspots complex AR-1476, which stretches across 60,000 miles or 100,000 kilometers from end to end this happened at 9.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on May the 16th, 2012, folks. Um, the flare spawned a Class S2 solar radiation storm around our planet, Earth, according to the Space Weather Prediction Center, uh, which is a branch of the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. The, uh, the SWPC described the Class S2 solar flare or solar radiation storms as moderate with the potential to cause infrequent single event upsets in Earth-orbiting satellites are you saying the satellites, are you saying your direct TV might get knocked out? What? That's a crisis for some folks. What are you saying, Pastor? I'm saying that communications could be affected. We're talking cell phone towers. We're talking power grids, CMEs. We're talking about things that could happen here on the planet. Or what we could be saying we're talking about, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity. And the sea and the waves roaring. Now people abroad, aircraft, people who are on 
aircraft flying at high altitudes may also be exposed to elevated radiation levels during such events. The flare also caused limited radio blockouts to the sunlit side of the Earth the SWPC researchers said, adding that the radiation storm appears to be subsiding. Now, now today, of course, is May the 18th, 2012. Still have to, you still have to take a step back and wait, because remember, there were four sunspots, and they basically, they, they work off one another. And scientists told us about a week ago, I can't remember the exact date, I should have went back and looked at the video I did on it, but it... They, they told us that these things could happen in the next few days coming, and it has. A monster sunspot solar flare strong enough to confuse the satellites that are in the sky, maybe even give you a little too much radiation if you're in an airplane. It could knock out satellite feeds. It could, it could mess some things up. We don't know exactly what it will do. I remember last summer there was a, a solar flare that nobody even cared about. It was small. It wasn't very big. They said, don't worry about it. And it knocked the power grid out from San Diego, California, all the way to Tucson, Arizona, all across the desert, portions of it, along the grid. So uh, what we got to do is realize that we're living in the days the Bible talks about. Scientists describe Wednesday night's eruption as a class M5 solar flare. Space weather researchers classify strong solar flares into three categories with a C being the weakest and an M being intermediate and an X the most powerful. This thing was an M5. So it's, it's a moderate, but I'm, it's, it's a strong intermediate one, okay? Now X flares, X class flares can cause long lasting radiation storms in the Earth's upper atmosphere and trigger radio blackouts. M class flares can cause brief radio blackouts in the polar regions and occasional minor radiation storms while C flares have few noticeable consequences. Well, this is an M5. It was a monster sunspot and it has erupted into a powerful sun flare. Now, we'll wait and see exactly, or solar flare. We'll wait and see what that means. Um, the CMEs, exactly what that's going to mean. This thing is traveling, of course, at the speed of 3 million miles an hour. So uh, it's coming, and, uh, and the effects are going to be felt. Um, so keep an eye on it, okay? Keep an eye on it, and uh, we'll keep watching what's going on. From a biblical standpoint, I just know that the Scriptures told us these types of events were going to happen, and we're going to see these things. You can imagine when Jesus spoke these words, there was no you know, no ability to really study into space, to even understand these types of things. Yet he knew later in the last days that we would have the ability to see the signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. He knew we would be able to comprehend it, and thus he made it a requirement, or if you will, a, um, a sign, uh, something to watch as we get further down the road and closer to his return. Are you saved? Pastor, don't ask me again. One of these times you're going to hear that for the last time. One of these times you're going to hear somebody say, are you saved? Would you like to be saved? Have you considered giving your life to Jesus Christ? I want you to do that. We're running out of time. Things are happening so fast at an exponential uh, speed. Things are literally, biblical prophecy is fulfilling itself on a minute-to-minute, -minute, seems like, hour-to-hour -hour basis. And I don't know if you're saved. And only you and God knows. Have you repented of your sins? Have you asked Christ into your heart? Don't be, don't be swayed away by the distractions and the naysayers and the, and the haters and the critics. Focus on what you and where you're at with God. I'll pray with you. If you want to send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel, you can go to my channel page and click on the private message and send it to me and title it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Or come to the chat room today on my live show. I'll be at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. And it's a live show, live feed, live audio, live chat room. You can type right in there, I want to be saved. And we'll help you find the Lord today. God bless you. We'll be back. Stay with me. There's a lot happening.
Don't go away.